Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And we're here to review this plant. This plant is a Diphambachia. The interesting thing about this plant is that it has an electrical grounding cable in its pot. So this pot is filled with copper wire. And that copper wire comes out to this cable and to this plug and it connects onto this pin. This is commonly called the ground or the earthing pin and basically this whole pot has been connected in to the electrical grounding or earthing system during the time that this plant has been in my home. Now it's put on enough growth to actually review it now and I'm going to go through the growth defects that this plant is now observing. But one of the things I want you to notice is that it's actually the healthiest plant that is in my home. And it initially looks good, but when you start looking at the new growth that's come up, you can see there's problems. And this was the first new growth leaf that it put out. As you can see, it's almost got no patterning, and it's also very long and very thin. Now, this is what the leaves are supposed to look like. They're very large and they're the size of a hand. And this is how the patterning is supposed to be. So all the leaves that should come up on the plant should look like this. And what we've got is a much smaller growth going on. And you can see it in this leaf right here. So for a while it was looking like the leaf growth was going to come up like this. Now this leaf grew while I had all of my wireless devices in service at the house. Now after I took those wireless devices out of service, the growth reverted back to this. And this is all new growth that has come on the plant since I took my wireless devices at the home out of service. So it looks like the wireless devices were having an effect on the plant growth that was causing the leaves to get very, very dark. And they've now reverted back to their normal patterning. But the interesting thing is the leaves are actually about half the size. So yeah, we definitely have leaf retardation going on in this plant. And I'm gonna watch it for quite some more time and see how the full deformity is going to show up in this plant. But this is the initial outcome of this plant experiment right now. And that is we're getting deformed leaves, which are about half the size. So I think we need to run this experiment a little bit longer, but I just wanted to give you an interim overview of how this experiment is going and how it's going to progress forward from this point. So we're gonna leave it plugged in and it's gonna stay connected onto the electrical system. I should mention that my electrical system, this particular pin here, if I perform measurements regarding stray voltage and stray currents, there's a, there's a wide range of frequencies on this pin. And there's also voltage. There's AC voltage of a few volts on this particular pin. And it's well known in the dairy industry to kill animals with long-term exposure. And the animals that it doesn't kill, it generally makes them quite sick. So we actually appear to be looking at a stray voltage sick plant. And it's going to be interesting to see how a few more months of exposure to stray voltage is going to affect it. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.